Hey lovely, it's Lisa here and it is day 17 of my tower month. And I have been playing with um, my Dame Darcy deck. Um, I love this deck. I, I had been forgetting about this deck. I have, I think it's the second edition. And um, I love pretty much everything about it. I love the cardstock. Um, here's the tower in it. We'll come back to that. I love the cardstock. I love the colors. Uh, I love, I mean, I love the, this fool is just so amazing. I love even the ways in which, you know, it's sort of imperfectly offset. You know, some of the, the borders are uneven. Um, you know, this was before uh, Dame Darcy uh, updated the deck to kind of get rid of the the bits of um, unfortunate borrowing from Los Scarabeos mermaid deck. Um, you know, it's just, it's quirky, wonderful. I love her artwork. Um, you know, it's a mixture of mostly in this kind of weird 18th century piratey, mermaidy world, but then, you know, these moments that feel like something out of a silver screen kind of movie, uh, like the Queen of Swords, you know, it's like sort of silver screen Hollywood, you know, you've got on the one hand, ye old, ye old pirates in their tri-corner hats, and then mermaids, and then like, what? You know, what? But I just, I love this deck. And, um, I was really disappointed by her um, Queen Alice deck. I love the images, but I hated the cardstock, so I have barely touched it. But this deck, I just, you know, I pull out from time to time and fondle it and read with it and play with it. Um, and, uh, you know, I was sort of kind of drawn to it tonight um, and drawn to the tower card you know, one of the things about just having spent some time on the Oregon coast, some of you may be familiar with, um, you know, the predictions about the Cascadia subduction zone, you know, that, that basically there's this major earthquake that is going to completely destroy the coast and like everything, uh, everything uh, west of I-5 of the big interstate highway uh, will be destroyed and, you know, it will be chaos and we will all die and you know um and you know the science behind this is pretty straightforward um and so yeah there's likely to be a really 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 big earthquake on the oregon coast and um and in not only in my lifetime but like soonish so you know what does it mean to like go to the coast <laughs> and hang out on the beach with my you know beloved dogs and um you know how do we how do we humans live with both uncertainty and the knowledge that death will come. Like for all of us. I mean, when I say in my lifetime, the earthquake will happen. In my lifetime, I will die. <laughs> like for sure, a hundred percent sure, you know? And how do we, how do we manage that? Um, I think for obvious reasons, this tower card leapt to mind with its tsunami image water meeting fire in the most stark and powerful ways. Um, I was talking with this woman in this last trip to the coast, uh, uh, someone who lives there year round, who's moved there. I can't, she's lived in various places in Oregon and back East. And, and I'm just always curious because, you know, it's one thing to visit the coast. It's another thing to live there. Like how does she make sense of being in, you know, earthquake land? And I said, so, you know, how do you, how do you work with that? And she said, well, look up that hill. And she pointed just like across the street up the hill. And she said, you see that line painted on the road, that line is the tsunami line. So if you live above that line, the tsunami won't hit you. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I mean, okay. I, I mean, I don't, I do not mean disrespect because actually these are the sorts of calculations that we do. It's like, well, you know, above that line, I'll be okay. 
even though, you know, the world does not stop at lines, um, and, you know, if a tsunami wipes out everything below you, that's probably not going to be all that great for you living up on the hill. Um, but I also think about where, you know, we stay on the coast and it's up on a hill. It's like, yeah, we're above the tsunami zone. We'll be fine. <laughs> like, in, you know, this is, this is how we humans work. Um, today I was, um, visiting with a patient, um, who's, you know, elderly and losing his memory and, um, has had a really good life as, as he describes it. It's just, he doesn't seem to have major regrets, but he's like trying to wrap his mind around the fact that he's, you know, he's in his last lap, you know, it's, this is not, he's not going to just get better, bounce back and, you know, he's, he's in his nineties and he's quite sick. Um, and he's trying to understand this. And, you know, he was, he was going in, in circles and, you know, I was wanting to be really present for him and he's, who is just a lovely, lovely person. And so it was easy to just hang out with him. Um, we go in circles, even though, you know, timing, details, all that's uncertain. But the wave will hit, and a lot of waves will hit. Um, fire will come. You know how 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 do we live? How do we how do we live with that? Um, and I guess tonight, uh, I guess tonight I'm just realizing and feeling newfound or rekindled or something um love for um having a spiritual practice which not only invites me but um requires that i figure out how to live with uncertainty I'm not i'm not doing a great job of it to tell you the truth um you know, I want things to be clear. I want to know when and how and what. And because I want that clarity, I also fear that clarity because I'm scared of what may come. So how do I live with that? Yeah, that's the question. So, yeah, this heart of ours, it's big. It's broad. Um, we can take it all in. And, um, yeah, I think that's what I got tonight. Um, may we all live with our hearts open in the face of uncertainty, in the face of our fear. We don't need to conquer our fear. We just need to have it. Okay, that's all I got. And I think I said that already. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching, for joining me. Um, much love to you and thank you for your practice.